Acts chapter 3. The Bible says, Now Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour. I don't have time, but I would have tried to explain that to you. That hour, night hour, was 3 p.m. in the day. The night hour. I know this was the time Jesus died. This was the time Jesus died. I don't have time to begin to explain to us how the Greek time operated or the Hebrew time operated. But the night hour, which is the hour of prayer. Now, I want you to understand that these guys, they have so positioned themselves that at a particular time, they went to what? Pray. You know, this is why I always encourage us sometimes to have our life regimented, especially when it comes to what? Prayer. Because the more we have a regimented system of prayer, the more we develop that habit and it becomes what? Prayer becomes what? A part and parcel of what? Us. I don't know if you understand what I mean. If, let me bring it down. If I want to make prayer part and parcel of me, what do I do? I can pick the night hour. Or I can pick the um, third hour of the day. Or I can pick 11 p.m. or 11 a.m. to be my prayer time. And there is nothing of the surface of the earth that will make me change or that will make me stop praying at that time. Whenever it is that time, I post everything around me so that what? I go and pray. Are you following me? It doesn't matter how long I may have to pray. All the importance is that what? At this particular time, I am what? Praying. And so, if you want to develop your prayer life, it is good to start it off as what? A regiment. When I went for service in Apoibo, I, ha- I found it hard to wake up by four. Because by four, you will find out that boys are already up. Or the soldier guys, the army guys, they will be blowing the bigu. Because around 5.30, you are on the parade ground, getting prepared for parade and everything. And we were to stay in camp for three weeks. We started probably on Monday. It was difficult for some of us. Waking up at that time with the cold. Where we were was a bush part. But then we were, it was bushy. And you know, when you have found yourself in a place where there are bushes, it means that there will be cold at the wee hours of the morning. So by that time, four, you are expected to wake up, go and have your bath with cold water, or if the kitchen staff will be kind to you, give you hot water to bathe. And if you must stand for the hot water, you must stand on a queue that is as from here to like in Jebu Boston. So by the time you will calculate that queue, you will tell yourself, let me give myself brain and I will go and have that bath with that cold water. And we did that Monday. We did that Tuesday. We did that Wednesday. When you come to the parade grant, you will find out that some ladies, I don't know when they wake up even by that fall, but they have painted their face. We that are struggling to wake up and have our bag by that fall, some ladies will come out to the parade grant where there is no light, but where their faces are glittering. They, their faces now become the light of that morning because it will be shining with the layers of makeup. And we did Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we struggle. And you will find out that on the parade ground, before 7 a.m., some persons are already falling down and they are going to the sick bay. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And by Saturday, it now became what? A part and what? Parcel of us. That we didn't need to wake, we didn't need to be awoken by what? We big good. We didn't need the big good to be woken up. Before you know it, we are already what? Up. And the whole of the hall is bubbling with activity before the army guys will be blowing the people. Why? Because it has not become what? A part and parcel of us. We that we are afraid of using cold water already by then, because of the training I have had, I have learned how to adapt in any situation. So the cold water was nothing from the beginning. But there were still some of us that were finding it hard. But by the reason of that system, by Saturday morning, almost everybody was having his bath with cold water and not waiting for that long queue anymore. 
and we got so used to it that we that were crying that we had come into a camp of suffering. When it was time to leave the camp, it was as if we should not go anymore because we were now enjoying our stay. It has now become what? A part and parcel of what? Us. So you want to make prayer a part and parcel of you. Start off with what? Making it what? Regimented. That there is an hour I set that nothing on earth will make that hour pass me by without what? Going to a prayer. Without saying, oh, Father, I thank you because you have made me and I have not made myself. And so the disciples of Jesus, they had what? An hour of prayer, which is what? The night hour. And they had a place. Number two system of, please hear me, follow me. Number two system that these guys use to develop their prayer life is that what? They had a place where they what? Prayed. Are you following me? They had what? They didn't just pray anywhere, but they had what? A place where they what? Prayed. And so when it was time, even they are in their houses, they will leave their houses to where? That place where they what? Prayed. So even if it was you, if you are in your parlor, when it is time for you to pray, what do you do? You leave that place and what? Move into that corner where you want to pray. You know, you want, have you watched that, you've watched that movie, right? War Room. The woman had a mansion for her house. But when she wants to pray, where does she find herself? Inside where? Her closet. Inside where she packs her clothes. And she unfolded the closet and she made where? A, 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 a sitting place for her to what? Rest to what? Pray. And she did not only do that for herself. She also taught her daughter how to what? Get engaged in that place. And sometimes she will pray there from night and get there in the morning. Why? Because she was trying to make what? Prayer a part and parcel of what her. She not only have an hour, but she also had what? A place. So the disciples of Jesus, at the night hour, at the night hour, they went into the where? Temple to pray. Because prayer, the goal is at what? That they make prayer their what? Their life. They make prayer what? The thing that is what? That they got, they have gotten used to. You know, to pray is a lot of stress. Do you know? If you have prayed, you will know that what? There is a lot of work that is needed in what? Prayer. Prayer is a lot of a lot of energy. And that is why many will rather do anything other than what? Prayer. Do you know? A lot will like to give so that they, they will have, they will avoid prayer. And that is why you have people that will say, pay for me to pray. And so because they do not want to spend energy in the place of prayer, because of how tedious prayer can be, what do they do? They pay to pray. So a person might want to dance instead of prayer. Prayer, because of how hard it can be, some persons don't like it. But Bible says in the book of Luke 18 verse 1, Unto this end, what men ought to what pray and not to what faint. It means Casey, you must pray. Huh? It means mommy Jane and uh, mommy ma, you must pray. You must spend energy to what to pray. It says, unto this end, men. It did not say boy, it did not say woman, it did not say girl, it did not say boy. It said, man, every human being that God has created ought to what? Pray and not to what? Faith. 